dialogue of Pradusha Frahede. Take a Bible. Isaiah 61, verse 3. The Bible says, To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, and to give unto them beauty for ashes. The word Zion is the word the church. Now, the Bible here says, God wants to appoint people who are crying. Who are crying in Zion. There are people who are in church, but they are passing through some problems. They are crying, they are in church. The Bible says the power of Jesus will to look for those people who are in church, but they are crying. Am I talking to somebody here? Your crying will be over today. Your crying will be... The Bible says to appoint those who are crying in Zion. To appoint. This prophecy is for Jesus. In the book of Isaiah, before he was born, that when he is born, his job will to appoint the people who are crying. We have people who are mourning now. Spiritually, financially, mentally. Things are not moving okay. But the Bible says when he comes, he will look for those people who are crying. And what will he do? When he appoints them, what will he do? The Bible says to give unto them beauty for ashes. I don't know why God is putting an emphasis on this message. I don't know why God is putting an emphasis on this message. But the word ashes represents Shem. Women, are you here? Yeah. Would you, you women, would you come to church if someone would put ashes on your face? Would you? You know why? In fact, you won't even want people to look at you. You'll be shy. Because ashes represents shame. But spiritually, there are people in Zion, there are people in church who they may, you may not see the ashes on their face. But financially, the devil has given them ashes. Their children, their children, they are into ashes. The enemy has put ashes to some people. Now, these people are in agony. But Jesus, when he comes, he will go into Zion. He will appear in the church. And he will begin to remove the ashes and put beauty. I have come here with this message. If the devil has put ashes in your marriage, the ashes will be taken away. If the devil has put ashes in your marital life, in your finances, in your business, in your children, the ashes will be taken out. I have brought a message. God is putting beauty. Somebody shut and receive the beauty. I receive the beauty. I receive the beauty. I receive the beauty. As I'm speaking, if we can even go to the house you are staying, it's ashes. Some of you right now, what the devil wants to do is to put your children into ashes. It will not happen. I promise you, there is Jesus in Zion. 
His job is to remove ashes and put the beauty. Some of you, the devil is trying to mess up your career. If I can check around some of your family, your whole family, the only ashes. The devil wants to put shame. But the Bible says, when Jesus shall appear, he will remove the ashes and they put in beauty. As I'm talking to you now, beauty is about to appear over your business. There shall be a particular beauty over your children, over your finances. I prophesy a beauty. I prophesy a beauty. Raise your hands as I receive it. Hear it. If God is repeating a message, there is something going on. Many people are into ashes. In the year of worth trust, God will remove the ashes in the blood of Christ. Now you didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. Anyone who's hearing me in all overflows. I serve a God who took away my ashes and gave me beauty. I am here to declare your ashes will be taken out. Somebody shot and receive it. God can remove what? And the people look at you and say, ah. It doesn't matter what they say. It's good. They should comment now about you. Do you understand? It is good now. They should comment bad things about you. Because something is about to happen. No, no, no. You didn't hear me. Let them see you in your lowest. Let them comment anything they can comment. God can take away your shame. Tell your neighbor, God can remove your shame. I have come here with this message. Time to remove your shame has come. Time to take you on top. Time to lift you up. Time to promote you. Time to favor you. Time to increase you. Time to multiply you. Has come. Tell your neighbor. Time to remove my shame. Has come. Tell them again. Time to promote me. Tell them again, time to promote me has come. Time to increase me has come. Now, tell your neighbor, as you look at me now, I have a miracle happening already. Something is happening about me. Something is taking place around me. I am never going to be the same. Sit down. Listen. God will remove what? The shame. The shame. Some of you, the car you are, you are using has got problem after, if you fix it. After fixing it, you have to fix it again. Now the devil is using it to take away your money. Listen, God is about to give you a new car. You see, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not talking. Oh. I am a major prophet. When I speak, angels become busy. Receive your miracle. Am I talking to somebody here? Anyone else? Some of you, you have got so much debt. 
a lot of deaths around you. You are even ashamed. But I have come here with good news. The Bible says the reason Jesus will come in Zion. The Bible says to appoint those who mourn in Zion. His job is to look for those who are crying in Zion, in church. And God has seen your tears. The last time I checked in the Bible is when God came to a prophet and he said, I have seen their tears and I have come down to deliver them. In Isaiah 61 verse 3, he says to appoint those who cry in Zion, in the church, and to do what with them? To remove their ashes and give them their beauty. People are about to see your beauty. They will see the beauty of your ministry. They will see the beauty of your calling. They will see the beauty of your finances. They will see the beauty of your children. They will see the beauty of your family. They will see the beauty of your finances. Somebody shot three times. I receive. I receive. Listen, as a man of God, you see, their days will come with a different message. But this time around, God told me, tell them to stop crying. Tell them. Wherever you are, God will touch you. And you will never remain the same. Something is going to happen. I promise you. God will change your life. God will change your life. Wherever you're watching from, this is your time when God will remove your ashes. I said God will remove your ashes. How many believe? How many believe that God can take away your ashes? All those debts, all those loans, everything that you are facing, God will take it out. I'm here to prophesy to every person under the unction of my voice. Fear nothing. This is your time and a moment when God is going to remove the shame. I have come, this is not a message I'm talking. This is a prophecy. God will remove your shame. This is a season God will take you from a nobody and he will put you on top. This is the time God will take you and he will increase you. He will take you and he will promote you. He will take you and he will bless you. Because God has appointed you to remove away your ashes and to give you beauty. Receive in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are by the power of God, I announce this minute a moment that something's happening. Raise your hands to God. We're about to pray. We're about to pray. We're about to pray. And I want you to believe that God is doing it for you. Believe that God is doing it for you. Believe that God is doing it for you. Wherever you are in the name of Jesus, I pray for you right this minute. By the power of the Holy Ghost and by the power of Jesus Christ, as you raise your hands, the glory of God will cover you. Miracles will begin to happen. Testimonies will begin to happen. Testimonies will begin to happen. In the name of Jesus, Every shame will be taken away. Every lack will be taken away. Every pain will be taken away. Every sorrow will be taken away. In the name of Jesus, it's a season for you. It's a season for your family. It's a season for you. It's your season. In the name of Jesus, receive it now. Congratulations to you. Now, congratulate your neighbor, sister. It's time, it's time. Your life has changed. Say, so don't be surprised. 
people who have been thinking bad about you, they will see your promotion. They will see your increase. God has heard you. And he will remove every shame. Every shame. Listen to me. God is removing every shame. God is removing every shame. In Jesus' name. God bless you all. All of you watching across the world, God bless you for connecting. I hope God has blessed you.